Hello, how are you? I'm Pastor Taiwo Iredele Ojibi, and you are welcome to It's All About You. I'm sure you have been waiting for me. It's all about you, it's all about you and your relationship or marriage. It's all about giving you direction concerning your relationship or marriage. It is to encourage you, to show you the way to go, and help you make the right decision. We've been talking about how to know the differences between love and lust. And to answer the question, are you in love or in lust? And I said that knowing the differences between love and lust and knowing what you feel and making the right decision will help you to choose the right partner. It will also give you a good marriage at the end of the day and help you fulfill your purpose in life. I also said that love is good while lust is bad. Love will add to you while lust will take away from you. Love will bring honor to you while lust will bring shame and reproach and pain at the end of the day. Lust is a strong sexual desire for someone, a passion, a craving. While love is a deep, tender feeling of affection towards a person that has God at the center of it. And this brings an attitude of selflessness. Now, what are some of the differences between love and lust? One, love wants to give to you without holding back. Why lust wants to take away from you? 2. Love wants to spend the rest of his or her life with you. But lust doesn't care about that. Lust only wants your body. 3. Love wants to honor God's words in the relationship and in your life. And love will not encourage you to break God's words. Why lust wants to help you to break God's words? Lust does not want to have anything to do with God's words because it is contrary to the will of God. 4. Love will not force you to do what you don't want to do. That is love. But lust is looking for a way to break down your defenses and make you compromise your faith. To make you break God's words and go against His will. 5. Love is deep. While lust is shallow, it does not last. 6. Love is about the other person. You are selfless. You want to give. You want to help. You want to reach out to that person. While lust is about satisfying myself. Me, I, me, 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 me. And then getting what you can get from that person. It's all about sex. That is lust. 7. Love lasts, while lust is very short. Now, to resist lust, what can you do? 1. You need to make up your mind to follow God's words. Make up your mind. Be determined to follow God's words. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 encourages us. I read, Let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you will not be doing what your sinful nature craves. 17. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit of God wants. And the Spirit of God gives us desires that are the opposite of what the sinful nature desires. So you need to make up your mind to follow God's words. I will have to stop here today. You will need to read my novels and books. They will do you a world of good. Some of the novels are With This Ring, My First Love, you found me too much of a good thing this time around love fever quite a number of them i have different ones you'll also need to read god's words to singles it will give you direction it will make you know the mind and the will of god for you and your relationship and if you have questions or comments or you need a listening ear you need someone to talk to, someone to counsel you. You are like, ah, uh, what am I going to do concerning this person? What am I going to do concerning my relationship? You need someone to talk to you. Don't hesitate to call me on 08023-000773 or send an email to info at pastortaiwoodb.org.uk. God loves you and so do I. It's all about you. See you tomorrow.